what's going on guys it's intuitive 717 i'm back to do a reading and i want to check in with the masculines who can't stop thinking about you guys especially late at night okay so if they are trying to reach out if they are trying to text many of you will find that these messages are coming through in like the early hours of the morning it could be around like 3 4 or even 5 a.m i feel like your masculine could work night shift or shift work and as soon as they wake up they want to reach out to you even if you have them blocked even if you have them at a distance they don't care they're waking up they're reaching out they're sending that message because i feel like they're not giving up they want you to communicate with them they want you to be open to communication again okay i do feel strongly that many of you may have them blocked the reason they're tossing and turning at night is because it's like they can't go another day without hearing from you or or know what's going on i'm hearing between you two okay so um let's dig into what your masculine's energy is like right now sorry guys i have to sneeze oh excuse me all right okay what's going on with the divine masculine and the divine feminines okay let's start with how they see you divine feminines okay why are they thinking about you late at night why are they sending these messages late at night how are they feeling for you okay i hear i'm hearing obsessive Like, even the way these cards refuse to slip back into the deck, I'm feeling like they refuse to take no for an answer. Your masculines really, really miss you guys. Like, even with this card cutting her hair, I feel like a lot of them are maybe feeling nostalgic about the connection. They thought that they could forget you, but the feelings are just getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Okay, we do have the sun card as well with just even more passion here coming through. Um with the both of them there and the sun card is masculine energy so i feel like part of needing to connect with you could feel like tapping into their masculine energy their masculine energy could feel very stagnant right now um their sensuality or their like sexuality um that may be suffering at this time if they're not connected to you or if they're not connecting with you you have a way of making this masculine feel very energized if you guys know what i mean I feel like they're definitely missing that. They're missing the passionate communication between you guys as well, like the flirty texts. Um, and also, too, like not just flirty, but I'm hearing like heartfelt, passionate conversation. Like whenever you two connect, you can't help but like divulge a lot of what it is you've been feeling for one another especially in the separation this could be a masculine that cannot wait to play catch up with you like when you two do connect again i feel like just hearing that you miss them and hearing how much you miss them like they may enjoy asking you that as well like did you miss me do you miss me they want to hear you say it okay and that might be something else that they say to you i want to hear you say it i love you i miss you okay they're feeling like that like that's the energy i'm getting here off of this masculine very very passionate missing you longing for you feeling possessive feeling a little jealous you know wondering what it is you're up to who it is you might be spending time with and then i'm also getting here with the sun card as well it's like whoever you may be spending time with divine feminine no one's gonna no one's gonna make you as comfortable as this divine masculine is what i'm getting like no one's gonna fill fill you up oh gosh that sounds so sensual but what i mean like <laughs> i meant like with the basket being full of fruit like no one's gonna make you feel as like passionate and abundant and euphoric as your masculine i feel like that's what they're trying to get through to you they could be asking too like don't you miss that like don't you miss when we're together and you know the kind of intimacy that we might exchange or share but again a lot of you could just be silent or quiet at this time i feel like for the divine feminines it just doesn't feel like the right time to connect with your masculines for some of you it could be that they're just getting out of karmic situations for some of you it could be that um like you yourself just need space or you need time because look we have the eight of cups coming up again so it could just be that you're waiting for the energy as well to align divine feminine because right now you feel distant from the masculine they have to respect that space and allow the connection to renew itself again while they're in this like nervous pacing back and forth energy i feel like the divine feminines could be repulsed and being pushed and pushed further away so 
many of the masculines, you know, they may need to kind of tone down this obsessive feeling that they're feeling towards the divine feminines right now. Okay, and that's what I mean by a lot of you could be getting a lot of missed calls or texts from them, but it's like late at night, especially when you guys can't even do anything about it. You're fast asleep or you might see it in the morning where it's just not the right time to call them back and it's driving them insane because it's like, when can we communicate with each other? I need to talk to you. And I feel like for a lot of the divine feminines, it's like, I can't communicate with you right now. Like the times that you want to reach out and talk, um, it's just, it's not aligning. Okay, so... Many of your masculines are getting <laughs> just ready to get a grip on their emotions here. They want to make an offer so bad because I feel like by making this offer, they'll get the green light to come forward and get that physical communication that they're longing for. I feel like this is what's going to get them into that sun card energy, right? Like a lot of them are wanting to communicate and say through this reading, I need you. I want you. Okay, that's going to resonate for a lot of you who at this time you may have them blocked you may be at a distance from them. You could feel them wanting communication through like telepathy, the dreams, the song synchronicities. But a lot of you in the feminine energy, I feel like you're ignoring it. There's two cards here coming out with the divine feminines. You really have, you know, your face, your energy turned away from this divine masculine in both the cards. Even though it seems like they're trying to be heartfelt and make an offer. <laughs> I feel like in both the cards, it's just not the right time. And that may be what's driving them crazy because they don't know what you're up to or who it is you're with why it is you're ignoring their advances if they're your divine masculine you know because it's like they know the connection that you guys share so i feel like for them this pacing back and forth is like how could you be ignoring my advances how could you be ignoring my late night texts okay this is a masculine who feels like it's like okay you know when i text you late at night something's up like i'm longing for you i miss you but again you're in the feminine energy you're being guided to just take things take things slow at this time like even in this card here where he is kissing her i feel like he is the one that has her pressed up against this wall and she's the one just kind of you know kind of taking in the energy slowly here it's because they want to get to you why are you being guided to keep the distance right now divine feminine okay it's because your masculine may have decisions to make and until they can be decisive or make a clear-cut decision this could have a lot to do with um, like karmic energy is like the reason they're they're reaching out to you at a specific time is because if there's karmic situations involved or their hands are tied it's like of course your back is going to be turned of course the universe is going to block it because a lesson for your masculine to learn on this journey is to come towards you authentically you know many of us on this twin flame journeys um, i feel like a lot of us are dealing with this really fast paced earthly energy of you know the masculines just having no control over their masculinity and then it's like when the divine feminine steps into the picture it's this really great battle of having their masculine energy feeling like fragmented all over the place and then wanting the divine feminine so badly but in order to attain that connection with the divine feminine in a genuine way they have to gain control of their masculine energy okay a lot of them have to start being more accountable more honest um taking care of themselves more taking care of their health paying attention to um their surroundings being being more aware working themselves out of night energy into king energy because i feel like you know the divine feminine has just kind of showed up here as the empress and then you have a lot of these masculines kind of scrambling to get their energy in order so this could be one of those lessons that many of your masculines are learning is to be more decisive pick a path and walk it with dignity respect with honor okay i feel like that's what you bring to the table divine feminine really pushing this divine masculine to be to be fully in their masculine energy especially with the sun card coming out yeah look oh my goodness guys there's the word fragmented i'm telling you that's the way that they um like they may be feeling is all over the place a sense of rejection as well because you have your backs turned to them they're trying to make this offer they're trying to reach out but they're experiencing rejection either with your silence again you're just too busy to call back um the time is not aligning it's like the universe is purposely putting some kind of block between you two communicating and reaching out until your masculine can gain a little bit more self-control Okay, because I feel like in the past, a lot of them, you know, when they are impulsive or when they do reach out, um, it's really just like for that passion and just wanting your energy. And, you know, many of you are just like, hey, like, 
get all that stuff on your own like you know harvest your own energy like <laughs> um you know build your own masculinity up so that you have that confidence within yourself right because many of you do feel like when your masculine reaches out they communicate they get filled with that high energy and then it's like back to karmic situations um where they kind of wither away all that energy um they're gonna have to learn to start siphoning energy on their own so that way they can appear as more decisive towards you because i feel like that's the ultimate goal that's what it is they want ever since you've stepped into the picture you've really kind of scrambled your divine masculine's brain a little bit here um you're nothing of what they expected um you're everything that they want but i feel like in order to get that genuine time or that moment with you it's proving to be you know a big challenge it's not just your masculine's coming in there and like they're used to with you know partners that they may see getting their attention grabbing their attention getting their way with them it's not that with this divine feminine and they're having a hard time digesting that all right guys so that's what i have for this short check-in i hope you guys have enjoyed take it easy and i'll catch you in the next one okay bye guys